Hello everyone, my name is Renee and I'm going to talk to you today about mandatory star testing in Texas. What do you, what one thing can you tell me that would cause a student to be so nervous and so anxious that he would vomit before class? Or what one thing would cause a teacher or an administrator to uh, cheat on any one item? to better their students or themselves or make themselves or the, the district look better. That one thing is the annual STAAR testing, S-T-A-A-R, which stands for State of Texas Assessment of Academic Readiness. You can look at website, go to website www.tea.state.tx.us and you can look at the ranks and the testing information there and gives you all the testing guidelines and the information, any information you might want to look up about the STAR testing. The STAR testing originally was implanted in 03 as the tax test and that was um, mandated by State Bill, Senate Bill, I'm sorry, Senate Bill 1031 and House Bill 3. Part of the STAR testing is that you must pass, the student must pass the STAR test in grades 3, 5, 8, and 12 to be able to move on to the next class. So no matter what kind of, um, what kind of grades they made throughout the entire school year, if they failed this one test at the end of those four grades, they could not pass and go on to the next grade. For a list of some of the problems with the STAR testing, you can go to www.savetxschools.org and there is a list of the top 10 problems with the STAR testing. Uh, one of those problems that I would like to bring to your attention is that one test, failing one test, means that a student may not graduate or will not graduate. Uh, to me that is a lot of pressure to put on a student, uh, I don't care what age or grade, it's just a lot of pressure for one test. Also, tax or uh, star testing grades could affect college admissions scores. Um, could affect the student making it into a certain college that they're interested in. Also, time pressure. There's a four hour limit on the star testing and that pressure is cause a lot of stress and anxiety for these students just knowing that they only have a certain amount of time to finish up these tests. Cheating is a has become a big big problem. There are administrators, teachers, students up to from as little as you know, the grade three students where the testing starts up until the principals and the school board administrators are found cheating in whatever way possible to make those scores better so that they, the districts can have better grades for their rankings, which means more money. What can we do to fix these problems? I think one of the biggest complaints that I've heard from different students, my kids included coming up through the years, is that the tests don't match the, the courses. These tests need to be uh, reworked so that the courses, uh, the tests match the courses. In other words, what they're te being taught in school every day is not what's on these tests. And they're having to do all these extra prep classes and that sort of thing just to be up to speed to pass the actual tax te or STAR test. Um, also, no one test should determine whether a student graduates or not. And also improved monitoring. Monitoring of the students and the administrators so that not so much pressure is put on the students to pass this one test. Uh, as I read in the uh, Huffington Post article, uh, test, the article was called Texas Test Wars, A New Hope. One of their uh, fixes that I thought was really interesting was uh, better test scores, less testing. So the better the students test and the higher their grades are, the less tests they have to take. So I think that's a pretty good option.
So what are our solutions here? Should we keep the testing the way it is and let the students uh, just keep struggling with the anxiety and the fear and the stress? Or should we make some of these changes that I suggested here, such as um, changing the course material, the test material, um, not putting so much pressure on no pass, no pass, and also improve monitoring. I think uh, any of these solutions could help to improve the testing abilities of our students. Thank you. Any questions?